today from Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Stadium fielded just outside the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Philadelphia gets ready on offense behind Carson Wentz, the number two pick back in 2016 out of North Dakota State. Not only does he look the part, he plays it as well. Tall, prototypical looking pocket passer with better athletic ability than what people think. Gets outside of the pocket and makes big plays downfield. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Offense. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. From the gun, it's Wentz. And incomplete to open things up. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. That'll bring up second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Working from the gun, Wentz. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn to an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. Now Wentz on third down. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An Eagle first down there wins to Ertz and the names that end in TZ. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. First down, Wentz. This ball complete to Rager. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. It's a game. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Wentz to throw again. And quickly finding Rager. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. 
Now Wentz again. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Again, it's Wentz. Forced out to his left. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. The tackle made at the 36-yard line. I like his effort there. He got it done on his own, but let's face it. He puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs because a lot of guys have coverage responsibilities. Good job of rallying, though, because I thought when he first took off, he might pick up the first down. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Going for it with Sanders. And inside the 20. Today, from Soldier Field in Chicago, this is Madden NFL 21. First open way back in 1924, but renovated in 2002. There's a look inside venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the New Orleans Saints and the Chicago Bears. Will Lutz to kick off. Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. And off we go from Soldier Field. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Mitchell Trubisky taking the field to lead Chicago. Trubisky, the Ohio native, went to North Carolina, then drafted by these Bears as the number two pick in 2017. Well, I talk with people around the league about Mitchell Trubisky when he's coming out of North Carolina. Those that had questions about him, they often centered in on the fact that he was only a one-year starter and wondered why he couldn't beat out the guy ahead of him beforehand. I just locked in on the athletic ability, the accuracy, and then once he got the football, how the team responded to him. I think his upside is big. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of 
players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Gun, it's Trubisky. And his throw here is incomplete. Demetrius Harris, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now Trubisky on first down, and yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Again, it's Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A gain of 13. It's a first down. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit. Because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way. And boy, he can get hurt. They'll contain him to just four, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. And I'd like to look at that play right from the beginning. I thought he should have seen the coverage that was there. Tried to force it in. That one, he's fortunate, just fell incomplete. But 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Trubisky to throw again. And Gens got it.
SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. see Jared Goff and the Los Angeles Rams taking on Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Los Angeles Rams. And we are underway from SoFi Stadium. This taken in about four yards deep. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. 27 on the stop was Aaron Donald. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Complete. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. They'll try and run for it with Jones. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive in this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. That if you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. here for the first and ten. Out come the Rams and at the controls the former Cal Bears standing at six foot four quarterback Jared Goff. I love this guy's makeup. He is not afraid to fail. He attacks on just about every snap. Wants to throw the football downfield first. He'll throw it short if he has to. The bottom line he wants to put a lot of pressure on the defense with his arm. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 16. They'll run for the first time here with Brown. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. 34, Malcolm. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Out of the gun, gone. 
That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 15 yards on the play, first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, here's gone. That'll be caught by Cup, and he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Three yards the gain there, second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. Here in the first quarter, he's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where... Today, from FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland, this is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Greg Joseph. The Florida Atlantic man, Greg Joseph, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from FedEx Field. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Out comes Washington here offensively. And their man under center, Dwayne Haskins, the number 15 pick out of Ohio State in 2019. And what I enjoyed watching this week when we had a chance to watch them at practice, the easy camaraderie that he has with his offense. A lot of respect. A lot of respect, and frankly, I thought it spilled over to the defense. All the defensive guys were coming over and teasing and joking with him. You can tell they respect the heck out of him and really want to play well for him. Now the first carry for Adrian Peterson. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against them. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Haskins. Connects here with a tight end, Jeremy Sprinkle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 
18 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Yard ball. That was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. A run here for J.D. McKissick. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 43. Here's Haskins out of the gun. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. His throw incomplete. Haskins. He's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, it's Haskins. And he finds McClure. 